Okay, so today's fast thought that Kenny and I are going to do is something that honestly we've been talking about for quite a while. And it has to do with retailers. Um, I know that sometimes we get we get a little heated, Kenny and I, about our national kind of grocery retailers in particular. There's one in particular that we get very heated about. Um, and, you know, uh, as prices continue to rise, as um, shopping grocery lists continue to get more costly, you know, we're kind of hearing the pace uh, of complaints move up. And yep. I think that one of the things that we want to do is talk about why we are so unhappy with the national retailers, besides the obvious, right? Like the obvious is, you know, prices are going up, they're continuing to log um, like yeah. high, high profits, you know, kind of record setting profits. And yet they say things like they want to hold price gaps. But I think the part where if you are not a, yeah, so I think we're giving voice to brands that don't necessarily have voices because in some, like if you, if you work, let's just call it straight as if we work with, if you, if you ship to a Loblaws, you don't have a lot of choices. You can complain yep. and they can not carry your product anymore. But I think what. You've got so little, I'm going to put it this way. I mean, look at it. Lay's PepsiCo. Yeah. The fight basically is we're not going to ship to you. And the other side does, I don't give a shit. I mean, they bend in the end, Yeah. but PepsiCo had to go that far. Yeah. I mean, seriously. So what does a little guy have? So let's let's talk about this for a second, right? Because for like the regular layperson, this is a pretty simple prospect, right? Which is, hey, um, Kenny, Mr. Retailer, you're a retailer. I'm a brand. Yeah. I'm shipping you product. Listen, yeah. my my shipping costs have gone up. My uh, raw goods have gone up. You know, and and I still have to kind of do all the things um, to get you the product. So yeah. I'm gonna have to do a price increase. Um, I'll give you, I know that you need, you know, kind of 90 days to 120 days to put that into effect. So I'm telling you now for 120 days from now. So I'm a major now, right? You're not talking to me as like. Yes, I'm not Norman's. talking about you, the reasonable Norman's local. Uh, I'm, I, you're, you're a national, you got yeah. a thousand stores, the whole Yeah. Place. So 90 days is minimum right now. Okay. Period. Okay. Yeah. What else do I, what else do I got to do as a brand to get that product into your into your stores like what what else do i have to do on a price increase the problem with the price increase right now is the book that you need to read and fill out to send back what book kenny so the what last thing is this book literally, oh, I gotta <laughs> do. there's document on doctor so what, what what you basically have to do for all the majors is you have to prove that you need a price increase and you can't use certain things. So the last batch, now they may have changed them, but I don't think anybody's changed anything. Like you couldn't say wages, taxes, rents, right, have gone up. Nobody cares. Even though in a city like mine, yours is just as bad, not as bad as mine, is those are realities. It's gone mental, right? So there's a lot of issues we're trying to deal with. Then you have to show, if you say the raw materials went up, which ones? By how much? Can you show proof? Now, whether it's past invoices and or, you know, like documents, you know, a news article saying, hey, coffee's gone up 30 percent doesn't count. you got to show them exactly what's gone up, when it went up, so like require, all this stuff. So you require basically. I have to it, prove it's kind that of like I am entitled to a price increase. Yeah. So so it's the soup to nuts. It's almost like I've got to give you my formula, walk you through in essence the raw ingredients in every one of my formulas and then get a. Right. Uh, a teacher's note, if you will, from the supply. No, you need past I, that. You need like the principal and the superintendent. Yeah, You're well I, past teacher. Like I Go need teacher. to, I need to provide you invoices that say last month sugar was a kilo, and now it's now two hundred. Right. But they'll because they'll look and they'll determine based on what they do what it's really worth to them. You know, again, that's awesome. But let's say they use their bakeries as an example of sugar increases. Well, if their bakeries use 10 tons of sugar a day, their price increase is a little different than Phil Chang and Kenny Benucci buying three cases at a time. Yeah. Right? So the reality is they would look and say, well, no, it hasn't gone up that much. You're thinking, well, it has gone up that much. Yeah. Like the, I guess what, what, what I think what the problem, I don't think people understand is that the function of business in general is to make money. 
That's why people do business. That's right? why we do it. You, you, yeah. you make money. And yeah. you make money so that you can pay your employees, you pay the rent, you pay all the other things. And at the end of the day, there's not a lot, but there's money left over. And you can do whatever you choose with it. Some people go back to business. Some people take it home. I don't really care what they do. It's their business, period. Right? The problem you get with these large guys is that they squeeze the living shit out of you. And you can't do much of anything. Right. So when you can't take a price increase and quite frankly, I should be able to take a price increase just because I want to. I want to make more money. That should be my answer. Why do you need a price increase? I need to make more money. Why? Because. So. Yeah. Why I need to go through these hoops and the things problem with Phil is. So let's say that you finally justify the price increase. Right. I have no control over their retail. Nor their margins. And we should. And that's price fixing. Yeah. That's correct. I, I have no interest in it. That's correct. You can sell it. If I sell it to you for a dollar and you sell it for 75 cents, I mean, as you stupid as that sounds, it's your business. business. Yeah. You yeah. want to sell it for at a dollar pie, I'd sell it at $5 and not sell any, that's still your business. You do whatever you want, right? Yeah. But the problem with a lot of these guys, you know, if we go up, and this is where the public doesn't get it, and they're sort of right in what they assume, you know, they if, if one of the large people do get a 5% increase, they actually may pass on a 10 or 15. They're not held. Like there's no obligation for them just to match the increase. So if I go up 50 cents, yeah. doesn't mean their retail has to go up 50 cents. Yeah. In theory, it should go up to protect their margin. If they were making 30 margin before, I understand they can make 30 now. So it could go up a dollar. I don't care. Yeah. But they go higher and then squeeze a the living daylight out of you. It's really frustrating. Like, to be honest, it's really, really frustrating. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, like I, if any, if you don't get anything out of this fast thought, except this is what you don't see in the background that, you know, brands, suppliers, you know, folks are, are pretty frustrated about is the process to justify your, your business model and why you do things the way you do them. Everything comes under the microscope because you've got to take a price increase. And then there's no guarantee they're going to take it. No. Nope. You know, well, fact, no, I mean, no guarantee. Half the time, this emphatically a no, yeah. Phil. It's not a no yeah. guarantee. There's a no. And I think the and thing the is, is like this one is it's it's really like you kind of compound it because when you add when you add the other bits in here, which is you know um, the most obvious answer is you, you know um, as our friend Lori would say is everything has you know you can make a choice. You make a choice. But the truth is, is when you've got when you're dealing with let's say you just take Loblaws and Sobeys. That's half of the grocery market. Okay, just, why don't you just take the top five? Because in reality, that's what everybody tries. Everybody wants to be in Loblaws, Sobeys, Metro, Overweighty Food Group. Let's say Walmart, Costco. Walmart. Let's take the six. Yeah. That's 85, 90% of the food business in Canada. Yeah. Correct, correct. So so let's say, but now what? let's keep it even simpler. Is Out of that, if you if you said to Loblaws, you know what? I'm not filling in the 25 page book you have. I am opting out of the business. You're losing a 30 share, give or take. Maybe close to 40 by the time right. you take all their 30, banners. 40, right? Like, so, so of the marketplace that you now no longer, you know, so when you- So now you got to work, how hard do you have to work? Yeah, but when you talk about choices, it's not really a choice, right? Because you you can't, no. how many business can, can afford to half their business in size and, and keep the people they have, keep the resources- you know, the cost increase that you were hoping to get is has now gone up because, you you right. know, the, the raw goods that you're you're buying is now in a smaller quantity, which means it's probably going to be a higher. Well, it's price. probably gone up. But the bottom line, it ha it's not going to change for the positive is, is yeah. the ultimate yeah. thing. Right. It's yeah. just not going to change for the positive. And again, yeah. if you're not going to get help. For, so and this is where people don't get it. I mean, the reason the profits are so up, it's not that they're massively efficient. I mean, really and truly, a lot of it is they took no price increases or forced no price increases mm -hmm. and raised retails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I get it because their operating costs have gone up too. I, they, they have employees and they have rents yeah. and they have operating costs that they have to clear as well. I, I, I'm good with it. And I don't care if they make a profit. Quite frankly, the stupidity of people in general, if you don't make a profit, you don't have a business. So I don't even understand the concept of not wanting them to be successful. <laughs> Right. There's no what is this? What good is it for us to have the grocers in the country be non profitable? How long do you think we're going to eat? Yeah, if we I just make money. But but I think, you know, hopefully this is helpful to you, because I think what we really want to do is highlight the parts that nobody really sees in the background. Right. Like so th this is this is the frustration that's simmering 
in the marketplace, if you're on LinkedIn at all, you will see it. Um, some some small brands have called it right out. There are a lot of um, you know brand folks that are simmering for sure in the comments that they they are putting out because these are the frustrations, right? Is is to get to see your model, your cost model change um, sometimes weekly, sometimes monthly, quarterly. But you know, some stuff in the, like in the like in the stores has, daily. You know, yeah, way more than it ever has in in the history that that we remember doing brands, you know, and making products, and then to kind of run into this brick wall. Um, and then on the flip side, being able to see, you know, hey, record profits being logged by a grocery. Well, and I think that's where the public gets agitated with yeah. it. And then, you know, you're thinking, and then they do, they take it out on all grocers. Yeah. yeah. Right. And it's not all grocers. Trust me, I'm not making Lob Law's profits percentage. I'm not. I wish I was. Yeah. I wish I was. But I can't do that. Like, I don't, you know, I, you know and again, it's, it's, it's sometimes the function of how our society, our businesses are set. I don't have shareholders. I mean, we have our share, we're people or us. So maybe we have to make a little less or just scrape through, but that's mm -hmm. that's our choice. Mm -hmm. Just if we want to stay, if we chose to stay open, I guess. The problem is you get to the point where it's squeezing, it's squeezing independence out. All right. So this is the fast thought. Um, if you like it, hit subscribe. We'd love to um, see, we'd love to be able to deliver you more. And, then, and there'll be more positive ones coming. Like this is, yeah. you know, this I know this was a doom and gloom one because it just pisses me off and it pisses Phil off. But there are others where we'll help you, hopefully, navigate through this. Yeah, and then and then if you liked it, hit hit the like button and leave yeah. us a comment so so we know what you think. If if you want to jump in on this, uh, yeah, if you think we're nuts, tell this, us. Yeah, this is a very hot topic for for brands right now. Yeah. Okay. Awesome.